This is my 45 410 Derringer that I built from a parts kit. I know a lot of you have seen it before. In one of the previous videos featuring this pistol, one of the viewers commented and requested a video of uh, displaying penetration with normal shot shells of internal wall type materials uh, from close range which is of course you know what a pistol like this is good for so we're going to try that in fact we're going to try it with a few different varieties of ammo here we've got Winchester now all these are two and a half inch because this has a two and a half inch chamber it won't accept three inch or you know you can shove them in there but I don't think it will be safe to fire them so this is Winchester two and a half inch half ounce number six shot this one is a buckshot load and it's herders brand two and a half inch triple out buck three pellets this one is a slug also herders brand two and a half inch quarter ounce slug and this last one is a 45 Colt cartridge and that's just a 255 grain lead semi wide cutter Keith bullet with a standard load oh, I don't think this pistol will will take Ruger Blackhawk only type loads and I wouldn't want to shoot them in it anyway because of how light it is and uh, I don't think you'd really gain anything for the purposes this pistol is for anyway. So this load is about 900 feet per second from a standard length revolver. So it'll probably do somewhat less than that out of this Derringer. But uh, it should still, you know, get the job done. Because we're talking 255 grains versus about 110 grains on the slug and probably the buckshot load is actually probably pretty close to uh, to the weight of the 45 Colt bullet if you uh, if you add up all three pieces of buckshot so it should be similar and again the uh, half ounce of shot should be similar in weight a little bit less oh uh, an ounce is 437 and a half grains so that's a little bit less that's you know it's just under 220 grains 217 something like that you do the math anyway we're going to test these for penetration Let's look at the setup. We have two sheets of, or two pieces of sheetrock, which is standard for an interior wall. And we have a 2x4 framework to keep the sheetrock sheet separated. Again, standard for interior walls and then behind that we have a double thickness of heavy denim cloth then about six inches of water in a plastic jug then another two two layers of denim cloth and past that is just a, an old board in case something makes it all the way through the water and the denim hopefully we can catch it we're not trying to measure penetration on the board or anything anything that gets a hole in it will be replaced after each shot so that will keep everything even. Now 
someone will probably ask the question, why are we shooting at point blank range instead of seven yards? I'm going to attempt to answer that question right now. That piece of sheetrock is at a measured seven yards from right here, the firing position. We're going to shoot at it with one of these Remington number no. six shot shells. It did penetrate the sheetrock, but I don't know. Perhaps we should test that at some point. Might be interesting anyway. I tell you what, since we got the thing set up, let's try it with. Uh, one of the triple alt buckshot, also from seven yards. Tell you what, I'll leave. Uh, I'll leave it zoomed in. All right, there's a buckshot. Actually, I'll zoom it back out so you can see the, see what I'm loading here. Okay, there's the buckshot. Three pellets of triple alt buck. I'll zoom it back in after the shot. I think shooting to the left. Must be a leftist gun. Okay, let's move on to the real test. Okay, I moved the test rig over so we wouldn't be shooting video into the sun. The first test will be with the Winchester number six shot.
see it made a pretty nice hole in the first layer of sheetrock. Pretty nice hole in the second layer. Push all the way through. And it made a hole in the first side of the water jug and through the first two layers of denim, of course. It looks like what happened is a, a small package of shot, perhaps, still bound up in the, uh, in the wide punched through the denim and into the water jug. It didn't go out the back, but uh, it would definitely injure someone standing on the other side if they were standing really close. Okay, we're set up for test number two, which is the buckshot. I think that penetrated a little better. There's the wide. That's where the wide hit. Here's where two pellets of buckshot hit and the third pellet just to the left of it. And you can see on the backboard, same thing all the way through of course. Jug. Huh, well. Okay, first two layers of denim, of course, were penetrated. But, and the first layer of the jug. But uh, it didn't go all the way through. And the pellet rolled out when I uh, picked up the denim. So, but it did not go all the way through. Okay. So the buckshot would severely injure someone who was standing close to the wall on the other side and might even kill them. The third test is the slug. Yeah, I know it's not it's not focusing on it too well. But if anybody's guess what this is gonna do compared to the buckshot, on the one hand, the slug has less mass than the buckshot load. Less than half the mass in fact. But on the other hand, it's going to be traveling faster. So let's test it and see what happens. It felt hotter than the buckshot. Wow, look at that. It tumbled went in sideways, made a large hole. You can actually see the hole in the denim for that one. Made a nice hole in the second one, went through the denim. Did not come through the back side of the denim, but it did hit it. Actually, it might have come through it. There's a hole in it. 
there's a hole all the way through the jug, so it went completely through the water. And yes, I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually even a dent in the board. Let's see if I can find that thing. It went all the way through everything except the board. Wow. Who would have guessed it? So far, that's definitely the load to use if you must use a 410 shell. And if you're carrying it, you know, for personal protection. However, like any effective personal protection load, it's going to penetrate the and enter your wall with force. That would kill somebody standing on the other side of the wall. So, if you're concerned about you know, your loved ones on the, which I mean, of course, everybody's concerned about their loved ones in the house. But if you think there's a chance of, you know, inadvertently shooting into an interior wall with a loved one on the other side, then don't use that load. That's one thing you want to use the birdshot for if you must. But I recommend that you make sure, you know, which direction you're shooting in, so you don't have to worry about that. Because any load, I think, that won't penetrate an interior wall with force is probably not going to do a very good job at defense either. Okay, time for the fourth and final test. There it is. The 45 Colt 255 grain semi wide cutter. Now we're doing this scientifically, but I gotta say, this is my favorite load because ultimately a 45 410 pistol is a 45 caliber pistol, not a 410 shotgun. Let me add that I built and shot my first 45 caliber Derringer when I was 13 years old. And I shot it a lot too, both with 45 caliber bullets and with shot loads. So that was a muzzle loader, muzzle loading Philadelphia Derringer with rifling. Some of them didn't have rifling, but mine did. So this is pretty much a, a cartridge firing version of the same thing, I guess you would say. So without further ado, let's see how the 45 caliber bullet does. because it knocked the board over. It tumbled, just like with the 410 slug, went through sideways. Made another big hole there. It actually shoved the denim into the jug going through. It was still going sideways when it hit the board in the back. Well, it hit the board, but it stayed inside the jug. Interesting. That is interesting.
didn't penetrate as much, but it penetrated enough. Didn't deform either. It didn't penetrate as much. It penetrated more than any other load except for the slug. The slug penetrated more. But subjectively, it seems like the 45 bullet hit harder. But you make the call, you know, as to what you're going to shoot in yours. I still would prefer the uh, 45 caliber bullet. So it's larger diameter. It's heavier. It's well over double the weight of the 410 slug. But the 410 slug apparently was going faster. So either one would work fine. So I really, I must say, I wouldn't feel undergunned with the 410 slug. And if I had to just walk into Cabela's and pick up some ammo, it would just, it would come down to, you know, what was in stock. And uh, as far as between 45 Colt and 410 slugs, it would come down to what's in stock and price and since the price on these slugs was it's a box of 25 for I think it was 11.99 if I remember correctly so that's probably going to be pretty close to the price of or maybe a bit less than the price of standard you know 45 Colt standard loads So you make the call, you know, if you've got a 45 410 handgun, you've seen what my results are here. So with that, we're going to call it a good test.